it's not value. <laughs> money, I guess. <laughs> money? <laughs> money is the currency that people pay for art. What kind of yes. value are we talking about? Show you value. <laughs> that you love it. <laughs> you love it? So yeah. you, so you, you buy it? You buy it because you love it. Oh. Or I buy it because I love it. Okay, so you get an emotional Maybe connection with it. Yeah. Yeah. Quality of the drink that they give you at the opening. Quality of the dream. Drinks. They give you the drinks at the opening. The quality is the opening. I go home. Okay, the sacrifice. The sacrifice to the god. Yeah. I hear you. That's what I mean. And you, madam? I would say the, the way that it uh, communicates. So, Rachel Shaw, <laughs> what gives art value? What gives art value is people's perception and enjoyment of it on an individual level. That's why some people like certain things and others like others. It's an individual, completely personal thing, depending upon what you do and don't see as beauty. Hello, Bridget. Hi, and How are you on this lovely day? <laughs> We're just wondering for our documentary, what gives art value? Money. Money? Jez Hefner, what gives art value? Money. Hello, Claire Walton. Hello, Andy. I'm wondering, what gives art value? Whatever you put into it. Whatever you put into it. Okay, does that automatically translate to the, the viewer? It can translate to both, whatever the viewer reads from it and whatever the artist puts into it. So that's what gives art value in pure sense? Yeah. Uh, communication yes. and putting a message in it, putting uh, aspect of your life in it, the artist's life. Either an aspect of their life, making something look beautiful, a message, whether it's political or submissive or whatever you decide to put across through it. Does that need to challenge you? Not necessarily. Okay. It can be decorative and yeah. give pleasure in lots of different ways. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. You're welcome, Andy. I was wondering what Ooh, you think gives art value. Hello. If you like it a lot and other people like it a lot, then it's worth more money. Okay, what if you like it and everyone else hates it? Well, then you get a real bargain because then it's not worth that much, but you think it is. Okay, and maybe you'll be the first to like it and then everyone else will like it and then the value will go up. If you're a trendsetter like you and I, Andy, then there's no doubt that will happen. Jonathan, yes. what gives art value? 42. 42. 42. Okay, now that was an artistic answer in itself. People acknowledging it? Acknowledging its presence? Acknowledging its presence. Okay. Acknowledging the depth, acknowledging the subject matter. Okay. Some paintings are like rock stadiums. It's like a concert. You go up and you don't... It's something you go like to, and you going. don't go away. Okay, like. okay. And you want to be in our film? That's yeah. interesting. What do you think about art? Sir, um, what gives no, no. art value in your um, opinion, sir? Art value in my opinion. What gives art value? I think it should inspire and cause the emotions and imagination and excitement to race. <laughs> Make a change in the viewer or the audience. Okay, that's yes. Thank you. That's good. Eva White. Yes. What gives art value? What gives art value? Yeah. I think it's the passion that comes from the person who wants to express themselves in whichever way they're expressing themselves, whether it's writing or visual or musical. Okay. And, and a painting, for instance, will contain some of that passion? Yes. Okay. Most definitely. And great paintings, a lot of passion. Yes. Mm. Take Van Gogh, for example. There's yeah. nothing more passionate than Van Gogh. <laughs> Dave Moe! <laughs> Dave Moe, what gives art value? Oh, here we go. What gives art value to you, sir? Uh, Christian. Christian? Yes. I understand this. Yes. And I get really highly aroused by Dave's spine. No, I know, when you hear that guy guitar... I go to Leo Pucky's own at Hello. I hear you, I hear you. If I can put that into my painting, I'm doing okay, man.
What gives art value? Beauty. Beauty? Beauty and dedication, man. An artist's job is to create beauty? No, no, it's for their beauty, whatever it is for okay. them. That makes what's beautiful in their life, you can put it into that surface or whatever they're doing. No, you express your world in your art. Okay. What makes you shine and feel enthusiastic about living? My fiance. Your art resembles scientific experiments. What the hell is going on there? Are you a mad scientist or an artist? What's going on? I am. I'm a mad scientist with names and letters and numbers and mystery of classification and mystery. The mystery of communication. It inspires us. It can be transformed for a moment and share something with the art. And okay. To be or not to be, that is a question. Where there is no in mind, just something about the outrageous fortune, stings and arrows of outrageous fortune. That's it. No more Shakespeare. Amy Carr. Yes. We were wondering what gave art value. your question. What gives art value? Love. Love. Thank you. If it creates emotions that you're either content with or questions your mind frame, it makes art. Well, I think that's different for every person. Different think, for everyone? Yeah. yeah. In the eye of the beholder? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, what is it for you? You relate to it on some In some way, level? anyway, yes. Okay, anyway. Yes. And that might be anything, it might be like colour, it might be what you see, it just might be what it reminds you. It might be anything, but it has to have some sort of something. It has to be something. Okay. Something that you connect with, anything. Yes. yes. What gives art value? To it. Okay. Josie Atomic, what gives art value? It's everywhere. I must say, from the bottom of my, ma bottom of my heart, uh, it would be time. Time? Time. Don't rush into it.